humans came from the moon, and the Earth is going extinct. It's so much at once that my head is spinning. We have to understand it all, though, so we can keep moving forward. You know a lot of stuff, so it's fun talking to you. I should get ready and make dinner. What should I cook? That scream. Was that Hanabi? What is it? Are you okay? I'm okay, but I messed up. Huh? Is everyone all right? It's too dark to see anything. Yes, no one's hurt, but the wall is burnt and the machine is broken. Something malfunctioned? There was a breaker around here somewhere. I see. That's why the lights are out. I'm glad everyone is all right. Hanabi, what happened? I'm sorry. It was me. The thing appeared out of nowhere and scared me. That thing? I saw a black shadow scrambling up the wall. And then this bug came flying at my face and I panicked. At your face? I don't think you needed to freak out so much, but let's see if we can fix it. I'll take a look. Hanabi, can you give me some light with your flames? Oh, yeah. Looking at the hideout blueprint. Okay. This is here, which means... Hmm... Hmm... The line from the main power supply is burnt clean through. The mainframe won't work at all like this. So... what does that mean? It means almost all the machines in the hideout are shut down. The front door locked electronically, so the only way to get outside is to teleport. On top of that, we need to replace the part. I'll put in an order, but... We won't have power tonight. Thank you for handling the situation so quickly, Wataru. Please call me when you want to go outside. I'll collect candles and things to light up the place. If that's not enough, I'll use my flames. All right, then I'll get dinner ready. Let's work together to get through the night. It is kind of depressing to see everything in the refrigerator start to go bad, though. I'll use the most perishable things first. The vent fan isn't working either, so I shouldn't use gas. How's it going, Yuito? Can I help you with anything? Thanks, Hanabi. I'm fine. I might ask you for some flame to cook with later. Okay. It's only for one night, but it's still a lot to worry about, huh? <laughs> yeah. It really shows you how much we rely on modern conveniences. I'm back. Here you are, Yuito. I bought the water you requested. Thanks, Luca. I thought tap water would be fine, but the filtration system is down. Was it heavy? It was nothing. Now, I will fulfill Sugumi's request next. I'll go see Gemma and Sugumi too. They said they were going to try and fix the power supply. Oh, I'll go too. I've basically decided tonight's menu, and I'm curious to see what everyone else is doing. Really? Let's go together then. There should be a blue wire around here somewhere. Can you see it, Sugumi? The blue wire is more to the right, below your right ring finger. This one? Uh, I can't get it. Wait, I'll light it up. There. Thanks. Okay. Now it's connected. Can you fix the power supply? Wataru said a part needed to be replaced. I don't know yet. I'm trying to see if we can fix it with something here. But it might be hard for an amateur. You look like you know what you're doing, though. I had a lot of missions using electronics. But I don't know much about fixing them. Wait. Something's wrong. A spark. Gemma, get back! Hmm? Are you two okay? Yeah, we're fine. Gamma protected me. Thank you. 
I should thank you. Your warning saved us. <sighs> it looks like I did something wrong. I guess it's dangerous to do it with nothing but superficial knowledge. Let's take a break. All right. Oh, Yuito, watch your feet. You're about to step on Hanabi's toes. Huh? Oh, sorry, Hanabi. That's okay. It sure is hard being in the dark. I didn't realize you were standing so close. Hanabi, your face is red. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure are calm in this situation, Sugumi. I can see normally. Let me know if you need my eyes. I will. Now, I need to get to work. I'll go see Wataru next. I guess she feels responsible for all this. Just let her be until she calms down. I guess we should head back too. Lead the way, Sugumi. Delicious! Yuito, that was a great meal for just throwing something together. I kind of went all out. Your flame control really helped. Yes, it was perfectly cooked. It also had a great nutritional... <sighs> Are you okay, Luca? It's getting a little cold. The heater is off, after all. You want a blanket? This is a job for me. A small flame with a high temperature. How's that? Thanks, Sanabi. That's warm. Yeah. It's different than a heater. It's sort of... relaxing. <laughs> it is sort of strange. Just like a campfire. You're right. It was an accident, but it feels like a nice vacation. Thanks, guys, for trying to make me feel better. This is what teammates are for. In hindsight, it was training for how we handle unexpected situations. It really was unexpected. I think it's a fault in the design for the entire hideout to run off one power supply. Yeah, you're right. This is an evacuation shelter. It should be better equipped for emergency situations. If there was an independent backup power supply, it would have been no problem. But I couldn't find anything like that. Wait, what does a backup power supply look like? I guess it would look like that power supply. It would probably have a lot of switches, too. I found one! Beneath the floor panel near the front door. I don't understand the makeup, but there are wires coming out of it. Let's take a look. It seems our current problem is solved. Now we wait for proper repairs. I can't believe it was something so easy. I completely overlooked this. We were all upset over nothing. It was kind of fun, though. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I feel like we all got closer. We are always fighting, so we've never had a chance to come together to fix a problem peacefully like this. We should all go camping once things calm down. Hanabi can make a fire and everything. That sounds good. I'd love to go. You can leave the barbecue to me. I suppose we should look for a good hiking course now, then. No climbing steep mountain passes, okay? I'm more of an indoor type. Perhaps you could use this opportunity to train yourself. I'll direct you. We can start right away. No, I'm fine. Oh, right, Gemma. We should take a look at the hideout's wiring. It's bothering me. <laughs> All right. It's been piquing my interest, too. I wonder what happened to that... bug I saw. If you didn't burn it up, it's probably hiding somewhere in the hideout. Stop it, Yuito. It's okay. I found it and took care of it. The bug has been exterminated. Thanks, Sugumi. I'll come to you if I find another one. Leave it to me. It surprised me when it got dark all of a sudden, but I feel like it's even brighter in the hideout now. Okay, I'll clean up the dishes. 
I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. Yuito, this is perfect. Will you accompany me to the gym? Yeah, sure. Are we lifting weights? If so, why don't we invite Gemma? I'd like to keep it the two of us today. There is something I wish to confirm with you. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to confirm? This isn't like a strength test. No, we are not here to train. I brought you here because there's no one around, making it perfect for us to talk alone. Is something wrong? Remember when we went to the old OSF hospital? Yeah, that was a rough day. Did you hear the researchers talking about my brother and me? Oh, well, uh... You're as bad at lying as ever. So you know then, that my brother and I were duds. Yeah, I didn't say anything because I thought it would bother you. I see. Uh, thank you for your concern. He won't look at me. Maybe he didn't want me to know. How did you know that I knew? After we returned to the hideout from the old OSF hospital, you told everyone that you were a dud. Your face changed when you looked at me. That made me believe that perhaps you knew. Oh. You could see it on my face. Sorry. Don't be. It was inevitable that you would find out. I am curious, though. Why did you feel it was necessary to tell everyone that you were one? Um... It's a handicap to be a dud in this world. I failed to see how that knowledge being public would help you. Well, I didn't think that any of you would treat me differently just because I said I was a dud. And everyone reacted just like I thought they would. It made me realize there's a lot of good in my life. <laughs> I don't think anyone would care if you told them. I don't agree. Luca. Unlike you, I've lived knowing the burden of being a dud. I may be a Septentrion, but my power was implanted through experiments. I wasn't born with it. It could suddenly disappear one day. And when that happens, the public will turn on me. That's the fear I've always lived with. I can't just change and become carefree like you. No matter what the public thinks, you're still Luca. You've been fighting in the OSF for so long. You work harder than anyone else and achieved a lot. That won't change no matter what people say. You are strong. Your strength lies in the fact that you can say that. But I am not like you. Or my brother. I am not strong enough to fight against the tide. Luca. This is who I am. Please, promise me. Please, don't tell anyone that I am a dud. Okay. I promise I won't. Thank you. And that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm going back now. I am counting on you. Don't worry. I'll keep my promise. He looked worried. I know the secret he kept for so many years. Maybe me promising isn't enough. No. I just have to work to make sure he's not threatened. I'll keep my word. No matter what. Have a moment? Yeah, what is it? That white flower. The silent snow melt. Something about it has me curious. Did you find something out? I'm not positive yet, but remember when we climbed Hiano Mountain? Yeah, it was cold there. Walking through the snow was tough too. That mountain is the perfect place for the silent snow melt to grow, I think. 
You did say something about that flower blooming on cold mountains, didn't you? Yeah. So, I'm going to go. You're going to go where? To Hieno Mountain. What? You're going to Hieno Mountain by yourself to look for that flower? I won't just look for it. I'll bring it back. I will show you that flower. No, that's way too dangerous. It's a steep mountain, and there are others there. I can't let you do it. It's fine. I can fight. I've been fighting longer than you. That's true, but going alone is a bit... <sighs> Are you absolutely set on going? Yes. Even if you try to stop me. You're kind of... <sighs> no, you're really stubborn. Alright, I'm going with you. What? But... It's no use. I'm going, even if you try to stop me. <laughs> okay, then we'll go together. Yeah, to Hieno Mountain. It's always so cold here. The flower we're looking for is probably higher up. Yeah, we might have to go to the summit. This climate isn't its natural environment. Okay, let's go to the summit then. begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. I need to 
for the injured. Here we go! It's down! Give it everything you've got! Not yet! Now die! Looks like you were right after all. So, where is it? Close by. Wait. Oh, oh no. What? What do you see? An other is walking near the flowers. It'll crush them. Let's hurry. No. I guess we can't just shoo it away. Watch out, here it comes. Get ready to fight! Understood. It's great! Take down the real one and the dummy... ...will disappear. You need to figure it out! Water attack? Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. Maybe Sugumi's clerk wins. Yes, my power? That attack worked! That must be a weak spot. Here we go! Leave it to me! Come on! I'm using this, Sugumi!
That should do it. Are the flowers okay? They were trampled. They're almost all crushed. If we had only found them sooner. It looks like almost half of them are still fine to me. I saw below the ground with my clairvoyance. The stems are broken and the roots are twisted. They're all hurt. No way. Not even a single one survived? Some are just weak. I think they'll recover. It will take time, though. I see. Well, at least we saved them from being completely wiped out. But... I don't know what to do. I plan to bring the flowers back with me. Will they just wilt if you bring them down from the mountain like this? With the right nutrients, they'll be fine. I've thought about how to cultivate them, so I'm pretty confident. But... the environment I'd be growing them in would be harsh for them. I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. You're such a kind person. Would you be opposed to the idea of just... leaving these flowers here? This is the best environment for them, so they'll be healthy here. But... you like these flowers. Are you sure? Just the fact that I was able to see them blooming makes me happy. And you worked hard for that to happen. So, what do you think? I... If the flowers are happy, I don't want to ruin that. Okay, let's go then. Yeah. <sighs> hey, how come you wanted to bring the flowers back with you? Huh? Oh, um, it's a rare flower, so I wanted to try to grow it myself. So a little intellectual curiosity then? Guess you're like a botanist. When I grow a new plant, it's like I get a new friend. It makes me happy. I see. Well, now you have a long-distance friend. We should come visit the flowers again. Sure. Um, and... Hmm? Was there another reason? N no it's nothing. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's obviously another reason. Uh, now I really want to know what it is. But it's not like I can force her to tell me. Well, I'm sure she'll tell me eventually. We should get back to the hideout and get some rest. Um, sorry to bother you, but can we talk? Yeah, sure. Did I do something? I mean, you're pretty observant. Well, you... always take care of me and the others, right? You should take care of yourself, too. I'm worried you might... try out. Hey, there you are, Yuito. Have you come to request a lesson from the Master of Fun? No. You said you'd be expecting me, so I felt bad ignoring you. So you say, but you know you're ready to learn. There's no need to be embarrassed. Now, let's go to town. Ugh. Really? Don't look so down from the start. If you want to have fun, you have to enjoy it. I showed up like you told me to. I just don't feel comfortable having fun when we have so many other matters to take care of. Listen up. This isn't just hanging out. This is a well-prepared, essential lesson to save you from imminent disaster. Disaster? There's a limit to how long you can live being that stiff. The more serious you are, the bigger the damage when it all comes crashing down. So I'm not telling you to totally change, but some coaching on how to loosen up a little will definitely do you some good. Hmm. All right, you win. 
And I guess I do need a break. Okay, it's decided then. I'll show you all the best places in Ceyron to have fun. Huh? Hey, wait a second! All right, next stop, karaoke. What, don't tell me you're tired already. Ugh, I'm totally beat. You said all the best places, but I didn't actually think you'd drag me all over town. Oh, jeez. Let's sit down over there, then. Thank God. <sighs> you really are used to this. You enjoy life, huh? That's because it's a waste to not enjoy it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should learn how to be carefree like you. Well, it's not exactly being carefree. And to be completely honest with you, life isn't really all it's cracked up to be. So, I enjoy life by escaping reality. I guess you could say it's a diversion to make me forget. When you say it like that, it kind of makes it sound like today was a waste of time. Sorry about that, but wasn't it a nice break? I do feel a little loosened up. Which means you need to escape reality sometimes. Especially someone like you who has to deal with a lot of problems. What problems are you dealing with then? It's obvious you're trying to escape from something too. I don't have any problems. I'm just the easygoing guy you know and love. I really doubt that. Immigrating from the moon and living for 2,000 years here on Earth has got to be a roller coaster of a life. I'm sure you have a lot of memories, both good and bad. You must have a lot of stuff on your mind. All right, all right, enough about me already. We're here to relieve your stress today. Come on, next place. Okay. I dodged the question. It's probably safe to assume that something really is bothering him. I can't even begin to imagine what kind of life he's lived. And I can't help but wonder what his true feelings are. We're always together. Watch out for enemy fire attacks. That attack works. That must be a weak spot. Leave it to me! Come on! That was a good attack. 